Hi, this is In the Wild with Chris. A bivouac bag or bivy bag is a cover for your sleeping bag, kind of like a small tent but without the stakes and poles. It gives you some extra insulation from wind and uh, downfall like rain or snow. The pros with a bivy bag is that it's uh, light and portable. It's waterproof, it's usually bug proof, and also has a very small footprint meaning you can set up camp almost anywhere you just need a two meter by half a meter space to set it up but what are the cons with a bivy bag well it's it's small there isn't any room for gear inside and also traps condensation making your sleeping bag quite moist in the morning after a night's sleep the condensation comes from your body evaporating moisture during the night a lot of it comes from your breath so you need to keep a good ventilation in the bivy bag. And also in the morning, make sure to dry out your stuff before you pack it down. That way you don't have to sleep in a moist or wet sleeping bag the next night. Compared to a tent, the bivy bag deploys a lot faster and it's easier to find a campground, but you can't cook inside it. You can't store your gear. When I go out camping with a bivy bag, I usually bring along a tarp to make a shelter, for, extra shelter from the wind and the elements so that I can sit in my camp and cook and still have my gear protected. For extra quick deployment, I sometimes keep the sleeping bags inside the bivy bag uh, so that I can just pull it out and put it down wherever I want to sleep. Very quick deployment of a bivy bag in a place where you can't set up a tent. So here I set up camp using a small tarp to give me some extra protection for, for my gear that is underneath here. I also uh, tied up the opening here to help with the ventilation. When you set up your bivy bag, make sure that your sleeping pad is between the ground and your bag so you don't get any unnecessary chafing against the ground. The Swedish military's Sovsek System 2000 or Sleeping Bag System 2000 consists of three parts. You have the thicker polyester fiber sleeping bag with a hood and a collar, weighs about 2000 grams and can handle extremes down to minus 20 degrees by itself. And then you have the thinner sleeping bag which is a polyester fiber. It weighs about 1100 grams and it can handle extremes down to plus 5 degrees centigrade. And then we have the bivy bag itself. It has a water resistant top and a waterproof bottom. It weighs about a thousand grams. This bivy bag doesn't breathe very well and you get a lot of condensation in the morning so you really have to make sure to dry it out before storing it. The combination altogether weighs about 4,000 grams. Combining these three gives you a capability to handle extremes down to minus 35 degrees centigrade. Personally, I've slept comfortably in this down at minus 15 degrees. Now this system is quite roomy. There's lots of space inside and uh, in the military you can keep your radio or your personal firearm inside and within reach. But you still want to keep your clothing and your boots outside to avoid getting wet from the moisture and condensation inside. Another good thing with this, you've got a three-quarter zipper down here so it's easy to get in and out. There's still some ventilation here. But my wife just gifted me a, a civilian bivy bag, the Outdoor Research Alpine Bivy, and I'm going to do a separate review and field testing of that soon. Personally, I really like the bivy bag concept. It's uh, lightweight, it's portable, you can set up camp just about anywhere. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about bivy bags in general. Uh, until next time, this is In the Wild with Chris, and I'm out.